hello welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a wedding jota using adobe photoshop before any further ado let's get started so now go to file then select new then i'm using a4 paper size Make sure it's landscape, your resolution at 300, then you click on grid. So here I'm going to set up a guideline, then vertical, then I'm going to use 50% to place a vertical guideline at the center. Then over here, I'm going to use 45%. Then this is my save John area. Then I'm going to put this number of 52%. So now I'm going to remove this 45% for now. Then just be following and you will understand. Then here, I'm going to use 48%. So this 52% and 48% is going to be a bleeding area. Then and I'm going to use 2%. So this 2% you are seeing here also is going to be a bleeding area. So that should be 0 0.2 inches. And the right side is 98 percent so now i'm going to bring another vertical of 98 percent for horizontal guideline then and two percent for horizontal guideline at the top so all this area you are seeing now is going to be the bleeding area so then i'm going to place these ones manually then after placing this one manually then i'm going to bring another guideline so this one now is going to be five percent forty five percent fifty five percent and ninety five percent so then i'm doing it manually so if you are if you want to do it for printing make sure that you use the normal guideline so that the measurement will be accurate here you are seeing now this is the save john area so after the bleeding so any test and document you place around this area now is safe now select your rent angle then this is the middle one then you create your rent angle then i'm going to my resource file then import this image then you position your image around here then over here I'm going to select the polygon lasso tool then rasterize the image before you do this then I'm going to cut out the area I'm going to select now I'll be fast here. Okay, as you can see the area I have selected so far, then I'm going to join it now. Then right click to make a copy of it. Then select the layer, go to filter, select your blur, Gaussian blur then you blow it to the amount of number you want here i'm going to use 16.6 percent then select your rent angle then go to the middle one then you draw your rent angle then go to your test documents copy this color code over here you can see the color code here 
then i'm going to paste the color code now this color code i selected this color code from the background image you are seeing over here then you blend it after you apply your layer mask then go to your test document copy this test Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste reduce the font size check in the description then I'm going to leave this font in the description so then you can download and make use of it or you check the test document in the resource file so the name is in the description or in the resource document so now as you can see I position this test at the safe position then Ctrl plus C to copy select your test tool then go to your font and I'm going to change the font to monotype change the font color to white increase the font size Make sure it's at the center or hold your control key while you select the first rectangle then apply your vertical alignment to centralize it then apply this layer style so this code you are seeing here then make use of this setting The distance is 4, the spread is 2, and the size, I'm going to leave the size at 13. It's okay like this. Then, you can duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. then type this word then I'm going to change the font of this one to Helvetica then make it bold reduce the font size then apply vertical alignment use your arrow key then to move it up then also duplicate this one then copy the name ctrl plus v to paste The next thing now to do that I'm going to import this divider here then place it at the center apply vertical alignment to ensure that it is centralized now I'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then duplicate your test here, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, you drag it up, bring it down.
change the color Ctrl plus V to paste then remove the layer style then apply vertical alignment what I'm doing I'm applying an adjustment increase the font size Then I'm going to draw a rent angle here to create a design. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then hold your shift key while you drag it down. Then I'm going to apply a color from this side. All right. Then I'm going to draw another one at the top here. Then apply the same color which I use over here hold your shift key while you reduce the size then apply your color from this side then I'm going to copy this same color over here okay this is okay I think I'm going to leave it like this I'm going to change over this color then this one I'm going to change it let it be this way also this one then select this one and I will copy the color from here adjust the color so color like this then I'm going to import this one reduce the size and drag it down Reduce the size. Okay. Using your arrow key to bring it down. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then over here, I'm going to import this ring. Then take it behind the test. Then right click and rasterize it. Hold your Shift plus Control key and press U to desaturate it. Then reduce the opacity. I think 23% is okay. Okay. 
so here we are done with this now we are going to the back cover to draw the rent angle then I'm going to draw a rent angle line like this I'm going to change the color to identify it then over here I'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate and I will set this one at this position duplicate it again and I'll take this one over here bring this one down then duplicate it and position this one this way something like this all right position it at the center okay then you hold your con shift key and drag this one down all right now hold your shift key while you select it then convert it to smart object then apply a drop shadow then make use of this setting and click ok then import this image then position the image at the design over there right click and create a clipping mask so this is what you get all right i think it's okay like this Now I'm going to draw a cycle. Hold your shift key while you draw a cycle to create a perfect cycle. Then copy this color code. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Duplicate it. Ctrl plus J. Hold your Alt key and reduce the size then i'm going to change the color of this one then duplicate it position it over here reduce the size oh i miss one of it all right i'm going to fix it so what I did is to delete it, then arrange this one properly. Now I'm going to duplicate this one, change the color to white. Then hold your Alt key and you reduce the size. Alright. Then I'm going to apply a drop shadow making use of the same setting ok then duplicate this one then you position it over here also reduce the size ok all right so now i'm going to import the image i'm going to put it then you drag it to import it reduce the size
then right click and create a KP mask. Alright, do the same thing to the rest. Okay, so now we are done with the clipping mask. So the next thing to do now, then I'm going to create a rectangle just like we did in the first cover. okay so we are done with that now i'm going to import this design here reduce the size all right rasterize it Control plus u for hue and saturation then apply this setting okay now reduce the opacity it's okay like this then ctrl plus c to copy change the font to monotype ctrl plus v to paste Then change the font color to this color here. Okay. Increase the font size. Take it up a little. It's okay. Then apply a drop shadow. It's okay. Then also import this design here. Reduce the size. Then position it over here. Increase the size. Then rasterize it. Apply vertical alignment. Then double click on the layer. Then change the color overlay. Then bring this one down. Try and circle like this. It's 
so I want to reduce the size of it a little. Then apply vertical alignment. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you not miss any of my video. I really appreciate your following.